So North Korea's latest announcement to end its nuclear weapons development have caught many by surprise. And local experts are saying that this is a good sign and that the regime seems sincere approaching its upcoming summit talks with South Korea and the U.S. Now, although it hasn't clearly come out and said it will denuclearize, experts say it could at least mean a nuclear freeze. Our Oh Jung-hee has more. After Friday's meeting of North Korea's main policymaking body, the regime announced that it will not conduct additional nuclear missile tests and will shut down its Punggiri nuclear test site. It also said it won't use or transfer its nuclear weapons or technology to other countries unless the regime is threatened. So far, that amounts to a nuclear freeze, but not the complete abandonment of its nuclear weapons. It seems the North may have decided that the nuclear weapons it has now are something being negotiated on later. Nonetheless, the North's announcement is seen as an important first step towards denuclearization in that it's a departure from its past behavior. In 2008, Pyongyang destroyed a cooling tower for a nuclear reactor in Yongbyon in return for the U.S. removing North Korea from its list of state sponsors of terrorism. But this time, it committed to destroying its nuclear test site without any predetermined reward. Also, it attached no conditions to the moratorium on nuclear missile tests, unlike in early March when the North said it wouldn't carry out provocations, quote, so long as talks continue. The recent announcement works in two ways for North Korea. It's the first time the North has officially notified its people of an end to its nuclear development, justifying that move by claiming that its capabilities are complete. But at the same time, the announcement sends a signal to the outside world that it's willing to negotiate on denuclearizing, something that could work to its advantage in the upcoming summits. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.